Hello everybody and welcome to a new RimWorld 1.0 game. I just recently finished my last run of RimWorld. It was a drug-based colony, which was a lot of fun because I've never really done something like that in RimWorld before. Uh, today we're going to be doing a Borg-themed episode. Everybody is transhumanist and we're going to be attempting to replace everybody's body parts and organs with mechanical components. As you can see, everybody is transhumanist and to try to keep things random and fair and difficult and interesting uh i did not i did not use prepare carefully on these guys i just hit the randomize button on the first five people until i got transhumanists that means i'm going to be lacking in certain skills i've got a person who is incapable of violence as a uh, as a starter which obviously is a bad thing but they're a hard worker too so hopefully it will balance out now i do have mods on this time i i was about to say not that many but I think that might be accurate. I think I have 18 or 19 mods on. It's pretty meager compared to what a lot of people play with. I will put the mod list, um, the seed information, the coordinates, and the difficulty level, all that stuff in the description below. This is Randy Random on Brutal, I think it was, which I think I can see in the options here. Uh, leave that in Celsius. I thought it was in here somewhere. Randy Random on Savage. Savage, that's it. So, why don't we get started here? Let's start with a look at the world map. It is very cold. I upped the rainfall by one, and I lowered the temperature by two. My last colony was a very hot one, so this time we're going for a relatively cold one. I very specifically picked this place because it's on a river, it's on a road, it's got some hills, it's near some enemies to have fun with, so I think there's going to be a lot of potential for fun dynamics in here and the map we actually spawned into is great it's got this huge river this nice like snaky bridge in case ever if anybody spawns ooh, a delightful mega sloth oh i want to tame it already oh that's 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 dumb i should i shouldn't try taming a mega sloth there's lots of animals there's a couple herds of deer lots of trees and a delightful little building we can start with right there this i thought was silver it's titanium i think that's part of the i got the it's like atomic atomic reactor bond or something like that there's a like i said the the, the mod list will be in the, des the uh, description below but let's get started we've been yammering on long enough so orders unforbid everything excellent and we need to weaponize our people so Let's see, melee, incapable of everything, melee, hmm, I've got a monk, oh, I got, a, I, I, got, I got three pets, useless, useless, very useful, I'm trying to get three of five here, there we go, oh, there we go, people can actually shoot, um, here, take the bow, the other person who has a decent shooting skill is going to take the pila, you are a meleeer, so you're going to grab that wooden club. And that leaves you the jade knife. All right. So let's go to architect. Well, we have to claim this whole building, right? Is there an easy way to claim things? Yes, there is. Claim that. I'm going to claim that. I'm going to claim this. I don't think I'm going to claim anything else. Okay, so let's... Oh, it's not going to let me get a... Well, I guess it'll be okay. I was going to say it's not going to let me get a really nice um, symmetrical area. But that, that'll, it'll have to do. Alright, so. Who's my best constructor? Two of five. But four of five has a, a passion for it. So four of five will take care of that. And I'm actually going to put... One of five on constructing as well. And right now, day one, we need to just get them indoors and not freezing their little butts off. Ooh, wild boar. I go for some bacon. Okay, so let's make sure this is roofed. Let's see, put in a door curtain divides rooms curtains are much faster to open than standard doors but are flam flammable and slowly vent temperatures between rooms 
Oh, well. Cool. Oh, I can, I can do a two by two door. Or a one by two door and a one by... Is that a one by three? Yeah, larger doors. That's a mod I'm using. The last, uh, the last series I did when there was no mods at all, it was very clear that most people have been playing with so many mods for so long that they no longer know what's a mod and what's not because there was a lot of a lot of comments in the comment section going, "Hey, why don't you do this?" I don't know because that's not that's not base game. That's not a thing I can do. They're like, "We know it is. It's a base game." We're like, "No, I don't have any mods on. It's not a thing." A lot, a lot of conversations went like that. Okay, so let's uh, stockpile zone. Hmm. Here, let's use this little sp space right here as a stockpile zone. Oh, my puppy said, what's the matter, Penny? What's the problem? Hang on a second, she needs some help. My dog was um, under my desk, sleeping on my feet, and she heard my wife... I'm just gonna leave this over here for now. Outside my office door. So she was like, okay, I need to go say hi to her. I have a golden retriever. She is so cute. Oh, we got a, got a Kiwa, too. You know what? That's probably gonna be better than that club I handed out. Uh, gear. Information on club. Yeah. Uh, so why don't you go over here and take that? Alright. Good, good start so far. We have a room. Oh, we need we need fire. So uh, temperature, campfire. Put that in here. And then what I'll do is I'll start ordering them to chop down trees. Just oh, there's not a lot of mature trees here apparently. Nope. <laughs> nope, not a lot of mature trees at all. Try to get the temperature up in here so it's nice and comfy. Maybe a little bit more than nice and comfy at the moment. Okay. So if we can't... If that's the only mature tree, we'll just do... Oh, this is going to be sweet. Heart, cut blighted plants. Oh, that's a nice little mod. Blight was is really annoying to deal with in vanilla. So I do want them to just kind of chop down the local trees because they're going to get in the way. And let's see, we're, we're going to have issues with growing because of the temperature, which means we're going to need to hunt for a lot of our food. Um, why don't we go ahead? Here, I am going to... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to order them to just take down these areas. That steel I could definitely use. Just let's Let's clear that out clear this out and then we'll have them rip up the floors too and that'll be maybe a little bit of building material I can work with. I'm, I'm glad we started with just this little tiny thing. It's a nice little area they can go in, get warm. And then what we're going to do next is work on a, well we're going to take out the floors so we have those for building material. Move. I think it's funny that by RimWorld standards like 18 mods is not a lot. A lot of them are not things, like there's a couple that, you know, add stuff into the game. Oh, I just remembered. Whoop! I have, I was like, what is he doing over there with the water? I have a hygiene mod on. Which I've never used before. That'll be interesting. So they're gonna need a turlet. They're gonna need a port john port -a Well, let's let them finish up what they're doing here, too. Just kinda, kinda wanna clear out the area first. Let, the, let them take care of this stuff, and then we'll, we'll work on that. Okay, so hygiene. A litter box for animals. Paint bathroom fixtures and radiators. Remove pipes. Remove sewage. So that's... So there's no... Is, can I dig a hole in the ground? Oh, here we go. Hygiene. Hygiene miscellaneous hygiene. Stall door, latrine, primitive well. Access groundwater for basic washing can also be used for drinking if thirst is enabled. Let's see, we've got a water tub. Tub of water used for personal hygiene, regularly filled with fresh water, and a burn pit eliminates fecal sludge by burning it as fuel. Can be used for uh, disposing of corpses. Oh, that's nice. Or other detritus. Hmm. Interesting. 
I think maybe a a bathroom might, might be because that's actually a thing I have to worry about. So let's go ahead and we're just going to use wood for now because we have decent access to wood. I'm just going to make another another room the same size as this one. And I'm going to put a Should we should we connect it? Eh. Let's just connect it that way. Just make sure you like finish those walls and the roof before you go to sleep. Because it's gonna get cold if you don't. Who's my constructor? Three of five? Four of five. Just do just do the just do the door. And that'll be fine. Oh, I just I'm you know what it's funny is I'm used to starting with three people. So somebody is sleeping out here. Somebody's sleeping outside. Go inside, it's warm. Nice and warm inside there. Okay, so yeah, we gotta start with some hygiene. We're gonna put in the latrine. A wash tub. Put that uh, on the other side, I guess. And we're gonna need a burn pit. That's probably a radius of, like, fecal contamination. Let's put that, like, up here. That's what I'm thinking. That's an area where you don't want to be. I'm thinking that probably not going to need the, the Yorkie or the Monkey, but I'm definitely going to keep Texas. Oh, he just ate an entire rat. Yeah, they're, they're, they're washing. That's cute. I like it. All right, this stuff needs to get hauled out. That on hauler. Oh, haul urgently. Oh, I love this mod. Haul urgently is, is in my, in my opinion, like a must have. Okay, so there's the toilet. There we go, it works. Oh, they're all pooping. They're all pooping. And did we do the pit? Uh, we've got a pit, there's nothing in it. Because we haven't removed the, any, we, we haven't done anything with the sewage yet. Okay, so. We've got a, we got like a primitive barracks and we got a toilet. We're moving in the right direction. What kind of, what kind of bush is this, berry bush? I feel like we're definitely going to be eating a lot of meat. So next thing we need, we're going to need to do is, I'm thinking some sort of kitchen and dining area because everybody benefits. So if like if I, if I make them bedrooms, you know, it's going to take a while per bedroom, and only one person will benefit per bedroom. But if I build a an area to eat at, uh, a dining room, then everybody will benefit from that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave. One, two, three, four, five spots between. We're going to start with that. And let's see. Production. So butcher table. I just don't need to make it out of silver or anything like that. So we're going to put that there. Fueled stove. Leave three spots in between. I don't think it's a I, I don't think it's a necessarily smart idea anymore to leave the butcher table and the the kitchen in the exact same spot and the the stove that is in the same spot but considering we're at the start of the game now not gonna be picky so this bills butcher creature do forever Vegetable garden is on. As you can see, there's lots more bushes and stuff like that. A lot of more things to do. You can see there's a lot more things to cook. Bulk cooking is a thing in vegetable garden base now. I used to use Feed the Colonist, but the, this is the first time I use vegetable garden. And it does have simple base cooking. Bulk cooking, I mean. Tea. Coffee. Well, I like that. Fruit drink. Press fruit jukes in a drink. All right, okay, let's just put it on. Cook for simple meals, do forever. 
because we're gonna start hunt. We're gonna have some people do a little bit of hunting soon. Let's see, animal tab. Okay, let's make sure this guy gets trained. Um, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and oh, they're bonded. Shoot. Never mind. Not going to do that. I really want to tame the mecha. I always, whenever I go to say mega sloth, I always want to say mecha sloth. Slightly different thing. Just go hunt those guys. Hunting with a pila. You're a badass. Wow. Oh, he hit it in the face. That's that's brutal. Okay. Uh, architect. Furniture. We're gonna need a torch in here so they can see. And then what I'm going to do is I'll probably end up putting in a cooler up this way. And then the dining area over here. Or, or I could do it the other way around. Well, let's, let's put down a table. Let, let's start with a very big table. I like it. I like a nice big table for everybody to use. And then leave a little bit of space around it. Oh, shoot. I accidentally just click, clicked off the game. Not that you'll see that. And then we'll just put in one, two, three, four. Yeah, just just have them fill it out with stools for now. Let's see floors, and we'll just do wood floors everywhere. It's definitely not going to be an uh, uh, an absolute disaster when there's a fire. Shocker among shockers, you need doors in these rooms. But thankfully I have some some oh god, that's a lot of that's a lot of deer blood. That is about a few deer blood. Oh, and what I should do is set my cook whoever my best cook is to cooking. Well, you're technically the best one, but you're the one who likes to do it. So I'm gonna put you on one and you on two. I'd rather have someone with a passion for it. Oh, he's washing his hands. I like the hygiene bod so far, it's cool. That's another like uh, element. So far I'm, I'm very happy with it. Well, I say so far, but that's because it hasn't caused a like disaster to occur just yet. Zones. Just make sure these areas are getting roofed. Just want to make sure. And we're out of wood, so we're gonna need more of that. But figured that would happen. Um, I'm I'm confusing myself because of the new buttons. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Some of these are mods. I gotta pick the gotta pick the right one. Chop trees. Chop it all down. Oh, is this this is this is the guy who likes to cook, but is. No, he's. this is not the one who likes to cook, but is terrible. It's the one who's okay at... Kind of likes to cook and is okay at it. Oh, you, you little bastard. And... Ooh, meteorite already. Is that silver? Oh, jeez. Oh, it's gonna be hard to get to. Landed in the middle of a river, but it'll, it'll just sit there for later, I guess. It'll be there. We'll get around to it. Oh, you know what? We could also use torches in the bathroom and torches. Let's put at least one inside the the dining area. Good progress so far, though. I'm happy with it. I I love the sound of them putting down the flooring really quickly. The <laughs> I don't know why. It's just it's it's a pleasing sound for some reason. It's gonna be a little while before we're really starting to rip off people's limbs and replace them with some some bionics. But uh, I really I don't know why. I just, I really like the primitive start. It, I feel like it it adds a little bit of length to the game at the top. You know, you get a little bit of extra play in the in the beginning there. I like that. Maybe I should build a well close by. Water tub, unisex. Oh wow, you could you can make jet. I wonder. Link bed. Connect the fixture to a nearby bed. Why would you connect a bed to a water tub? 
Which maybe you put a water tub in people's rooms so they can like wash in the morning. Well, I actually want to check something. I don't. I don't know. I didn't look at the actual sexes of these. We got male, female, male, male. Three guys. So two of five is the only chick. Is the only girl. The only woman. Let's actually take a look at something real quick. Like, let's look at. Fin let him finish in there. Uncomfortable. Eat without table. Disturbed. Sleep soaking wet. Slept in the heat. Slept. It's too hot. <laughs> yeah, it's too hot in there. Transhuman is frustrated, unslightly hungry, raw food, awful barracks. Okay. Well, we're working on a couple of those things. Oh, you know what? I just noticed something. It's gonna be drive. It's gonna drive me nuts if I don't fix this. That right there. Just that. Okay. So I think the next thing we'll probably want to do is at least get them some sleeping bags. Some sleeping. What are they called in here? Some bed rolls. Oh, wait, can I make them out of leather? I can make them out of leather, good. So we need to hunt a little more. Oh, and zones. Build roof over this. Before, you used to be able to make what I call the shed. You used to be able to just roof over an area and the stuff wouldn't degrade. Now you do need to actually wall it in. Yeah, I know, I know, people are upset. It's actually too hot in here. Um. Well, I guess they're just gonna have to suck it up for now. How much leather do we actually have sitting around? Not a lot. We're gonna need way more before we can actually build anything. I'm gonna tell them to wall that off, just so it doesn't... All the stuff in there doesn't degrade and give them a little... ...door there and chop down some of those trees. Well, I'm happy with this start so far. I... here, let's... Let's move this. Build a door there. Let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this. I, li I like things to be symmetrical where possible. And then what we'll do is zone, stockpile zone. And this time around, because it annoyed people the last time around, um, how do I, I... I can rename zones, I know that. Let's see. Storage. There's, I know there's a way to rename zones. Rename, there it is. Okay, this is going to be the freezer. Yeah. And... Because before, by the end of the last one, I had like zones one through twenty-seven or something like that. So food goes in there. Corpses go in there. Oh, and then all we have to do is nope. No, 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 I just hit the wrong button. I'm, I, I meant to click that one. Okay. Since it looks like we'll be here a while, one of five thinks that we should give our faction a name. Uh, well, we know what they're it's going to be. The Borg. And we need to give the settlement a name. Unimatrix. We're gonna go with Unimatrix uh, 12. <laughs> Eight's my favorite number. We're gonna go with Unimatrix 8. The Borg of the community is known as Unimatrix 8. Love it! And I fucked this up, so we're gonna need to go to Preferred, Animal Corpses, and All Food. I'll just fix that. Ooh. Just eating raw meat. That's not good for him. Although there is no other food, so. Who can hunt? Because we need. This stuff's all designated for hunting, but. Hunt, 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 hunt. Put hunting on two. So maybe we'll go do that. Oh, yeah, I can already hear it. And we should rename this one as well. This is just, um... Storage? This is just going to be, yeah. It's just gonna be storage. 
Don't really need to name it anything fancier. Ooh, Psychic Soothe. And while I would love to actually get some, oh yeah, we could do. I could skip the bed. I could just make them beds. Here, let's. Uh, we have wood, so. And we have people to construct, so we could just do some regular beds. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Oh wait, we don't have access. We don't know how beds work. Okay, so, no, we're not doing that. That's why. Do I have to research beds? It's been a while since I played a primitive. Door research. Hinges and gates, blast doors, prisoner containment. Cool. Let's see. Complex furniture. Yeah, there we go. Beds, end tables, dining chairs, armchairs, dressers, tool cabinets, billiards tables, end poker tables, vents, sarcophagi, and more. So yeah, we need that. At least we have a dining room. It's it's dull. Uh, it's te well, technically it's mediocre. Oh, I was about to say, so could someone take care of that one? Yeah, we need to get the food situation taken care of. What I could also do is see if there's any. No, not really. There's not really any plants to harvest out there. Nope. Tried. Well, well, this will you know this meat will keep us covered for a little while. There we go. That one too. Well, I'm actually pretty happy with the, how this has gone so far. We've got some food. Oh, that was the animal. Okay, so now we gotta work on that. Uh, we don't want the animals eating our food, obviously. Is that mushrooms? Yeah, that's cute. Let's see here. Zones. Let's see. Area one. Area. So let's go with area one. This is going to be called just. Uh, should we just call it animal zone? Just call it animal zone. Animal default. Oh. Default. Invert it. So they. that's basically saying they can go everywhere. And then we'll say clear allowed areas on animal default right there. And then go to our animals and just assign them to animal default. There we go. Good start. I'm glad there was just a wandering herd of deer here really close by for me to eat. Although hunt, hunting with a Pila, I don't know why that fascinates me. All right, we got a little bit of food. It's a little warm, unfortunately. I don't think... Passive cooler will do much in there. Let's see. I don't think. Um, I mean, normally it's not. We'll just actually go ahead and put one of those in there. It's pretty cheap to build. I don't think it'll make any difference, but who knows? It might. Um, normally, I probably won't have too much trouble with the food, or not with getting food, but with with storing it, just because I have a. Uh, a very cold environment, and when the winter sets in, keeping warm is going to be the issue. Do I have enough for at least one? I've got 161 plain leather now. Plus whatever I get out of this. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and go... So this this will help out a little. Get some bed rolls in. That's plain leather, I think. Yeah, I got plain leather. Um, Where do I actually want to... Here, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll we'll deconstruct two of those, and we'll tell them to just put those in. And then our best constructor is four or five. Who's not doing anything? So we'll probably just yeah get right on that, or go wash his hands first. Another ooh. <laughs> so why did you stop doing that to do what? You're killing me. Finish one thing before the next. Good and good. Good. 
Got, yeah, I got an, I got more. So let's do, uh, let's just keep doing these. It's better than sleeping on the floor. It's definitely better than sleeping on the floor. Normal, good, good. At least they all have sleeping bags, poor. Oh, you did a bad job on that one. Oh, we've got, oh, we've got fe oh, fecal sludge. A barrel filled with fecal sludge can be dumped, burned, or composited into biosolids. Ew, there's two of them in here. Oh, shoot. Well, there's our first, well, it's just that, oh, he's got a pistol. Or a rifle, sorry. Not a transhumanist, so he should die. All right, but we are just about at the end here. We're, we're at about 30 minutes, so I think what we'll do is with our first tiny little raid here of Von Schild, we'll leave this as an episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you've been enjoying this new series of RimWorld. There'll be new videos theoretically every single day. I hope to be putting them out every single day. Um, and I will see all of you next time.